Hey guys, I'm Anthony Fontana. I'm a CPA and in this video, we are going over the true cost of income taxes in California. You know, I hear this a lot where people tell me that income taxes in California are so high and they're thinking about moving to Texas, Florida, Tennessee, Nevada, Washington, a state that doesn't have income taxes because the income taxes here in California are so high. Well, I'm here to show you exactly those amounts based off certain incomes. So check it out. All right, so here is the tax on 80,000 of income for California using 2022 tax rates, okay? So we're single, no dependents. You'll see, right, $3,500 is what you're paying in tax to California for, again, income tax. You'll see the effective rate is right there, that 4%, but then the next dollar you make is 9%. Now, if we're filing joint, that means married with your spouse and two dependents, right? Really not paying anything at all here. And uh, if you have no dependents, just paying a little bit, right? Keep in mind, on all these examples, I am using the standard deduction, i.e. that means we're not taking into account like a house, property taxes, charity, things like that. Here's an example of making 100,000 a year. Again, single, no dependents, joint married, two dependents, or married, joint, no dependents, right? You'll see these tax rates did go up, right? Now, essentially, we're paying like $6,000 on that $100,000 for income tax if you're single with no dependents using the standard deduction. It's pretty high, $6,000, okay? Not so sure that would justify leaving the state, but hey, you know, to each their own, I guess. Now, these married examples really, I think, don't justify that, uh, especially if we're just looking for income taxes, right? One and a half percent, three percent tax that we're paying here, it's pretty low. Now, as you're gonna see, as the income jumps, right, it now makes a little bit more sense. Making 200,000 of income, right? Single, no dependents, you're paying $14,000 for the year in 2022 for just income tax in California. Again, these are the married examples. They are less, right? But now they're starting to be a little more significant. You'll see again, income goes up to 400,000. Now we're really talking big money here, right? Income tax, 34,000. That's like a, that's like a, like a low-end Tesla you can buy for that. 8% um, effective rates, right? Next dollar you make is essentially 10%. It's pretty high. Now, I think this is really when it makes sense, when you have to consider income tax, when you're making money like this, like this million dollars a year. And that's why you'll see a lot, a lot of in the headlines where, you know, like uh, high income earners are leaving the state of California for uh, no income tax states like Texas or Florida. That's because of this, right? They're paying, right, almost 90 or $100,000 in income tax, a 10% rate. That's on top of the federal rate, right? So this is, this is a lot of tax that uh, high income income earners are paying uh, here in California. But again, this is for the million dollar mark. Now, if you're uh, an average Joe Schmo making around 100,000 or 80,000, right? It's not nearly as bad, especially if we're married with some kids here. So um, keep this in mind. It's not that high. Other things to note about income tax in California. All income is taxed the same in California. Whereas like in for the feds, you have long-term capital gains rates and short-term capital gains rates, right? The long-term are more preferential. They're lower tax rates for long-term if you hold the property for longer than one year. Whereas in California, it doesn't matter. Capital gains, long-term, short-term, it's taxed the same as your wages, uh, self-employment income, retirement income, it's all taxed the same. One thing California does not tax, though, is unemployment and Social Security, which does get taxed by the feds. Another thing to note is HSA contributions are not deductible with California. So those would be tax-free with the feds, but with the state of California, unfortunately, California taxes those. Another bummer to the California tax income tax system that we have here is that California has a health insurance penalty. So if you don't have health insurance here in California, you will pay a penalty. Now there is exemptions to this. And one of the more popular one is the healthcare sharing ministry member. So if you're a part of a healthcare sharing ministry member, you do not need 
health insurance and you can get an exemption from the penalty, but you will need to have proof that you were a healthcare sharing ministry member. Hope the video was helpful for you guys. If it was, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much.